So guys, today we're going to be talking about TruePlay. So what exactly is Sonos TruePlay? If you already have Sonos products, you will know that Sonos has TruePlay as a room correction software, which will measure the sound of its speakers in your room and corrects for inconsistencies in the sound. Now, if you are new to Sonos and you don't know what Sonos is about, just bear in mind that TruePlay is one of the most outstanding features that Sonos has to offer and it is what lends great value to its products. So so almost all Sonos products has TruePlay built-in, including the amp, but you will need to use the Sonos speakers, which are engineered together with Sonos in order to use TruePlay. Now, TruePlay, it uses the mic either on the product or on your iOS device in order to measure out the sound in your room. Now, there has been some confusion lately because TruePlay has always been the hallmark of an iOS or the iPad OS devices that you're using and it's only available to Apple users. Now, what has happened recently is that they have also launched Quick TruePlay, which is a form of Quick Tune and doesn't rely on the mic on the iOS device so that Android users will also be able to use TruePlay. Now, there will be some confusion and I'm going to touch on that a little bit because Quick True Play is not as quick on iOS devices and Quick True Play on iOS devices is actually different from Android Quick True Play. Now, stay on and you will appreciate all the differences. And I'll even run through the frequency response suite for the Sonos Arc when it's paired with a Sub 4 as well as the Era 300 when it is subjected to the different variants of TruePlay. Now, there are two main variants of TruePlay, right? You have the full TruePlay where you've got to wave your arms around the room in order to measure out your whole room. Then there's Quick TruePlay. Now, Quick TruePlay, it actually doesn't require you to wave your arms around, but there's a small difference between the iOS Quick TruePlay as well as the Android Quick TruePlay. And they are actually significant, right? So there are two sub variants of the Quick True Play. And then to complicate things a little bit more, there's also a Auto True Play, which is only available in the portable products, which means the Sonos Roam, Roam 2, as well as the Move and the Move 2. Now, these will be actually a little bit uh, more automatic. You don't actually have to uh, use any measurements at all. It is basically a form of uh, equalization that listens out to the sound that the speaker is playing, right? But we won't talk about that. We are only focusing on the full true play as well as the quick true play. So if you look at the screen capture here, the first one I'm going to be showing is actually the quick true play on an Android device. So you will notice that the quick true play, it basically just you know, you just click it on. You don't have to be in a specific sitting position in order to run it because it doesn't ask you to position the phone at all. So all it does is that it will use the onboard mic on the Arc Ultra and it will listen out to the tones that is playing out. So you'll hear a series of tones and the mic at the position of the Arc Ultra is going to be picking up those sound when it is reflected around the room. Right, so it doesn't actually know where you're sitting. Now let's compare that with the quick true play on iOS devices. So this is the screenshot for the iOS devices quick true play. Now, before you go on, you will actually be asked to take your phone, right, and flip it 180 degrees upside down basically, and ask you to sit in your main listening position. So what that does is that it will actually know where you're sitting because it's playing the tones from your Sonos Arc Ultra as well as the surround speakers, right? So it will measure out the distance that the time, right? Based on the time that it takes for the sound tone to reach your listening position. And what that does is it allows Sonos to tune the sound to make sure that it hits the main listening position at the same time. So this is already a very big difference from the Quick True Play on Android devices. So you will know that the Quick True Play isn't exactly the same on Android versus iOS devices. So is that a good thing? Well, basically it is faster because you don't have to wave your hands around, but on Android devices, what you previously couldn't access 
in the form of TruePlay is now available to you, except that it doesn't use the mic on the device, on the Android device that you're using, whereas the Quick TruePlay, it still does, right? So what is Full TruePlay? Now, Full TruePlay, if you look at the screenshot here, it basically takes you up through the almost same process, except that it adds on one extra step where you have to walk around the room and wave the phone up and down and up and down. And my recommendation is also to wave at your main listening position a little bit and go into the corners of your room. Now, Sonos says that for open spaces, you and large spaces basically you should be using the full true play and for small rooms if you don't have the space to walk around sonos will recommend quick true play because well you don't have to walk around the whole place right for open concept um areas sonos does say that it may not work as well well because they say it themselves okay so what does all these sound like now for the following section, I'm going to be talking about the frequency response that I get out of the Sonos Arc Ultra as well as the ERA 300 as surround speakers and the Sub 4 as a subwoofer. And I will show you right the frequency response chart for how they sound like. Now, for this particular test, I have actually reset all the settings to neutral, basically basically stock settings, right? So if you're interested in a best setting, maybe you can check out this video right here where I talk about the best setting for your Sonos Arc Ultra in a full surround and a sub setup. Now, this white curve here, right? It is actually without TruePlay turned on. This is how the Arc Ultra setup sounds in my particular room, my room, mind you, right? So your room is going to sound a little bit different because your room, the furnishing, the layout, it changes how sound uh, bounces around. So in my room, you'll see that the bass is actually uh, pretty, pretty high up. So in my best settings video, I actually did bring that bit down a little bit, right? Now, when you listen to this, well, the sound is great, don't get me wrong, but it is very bass heavy, which is why in my best settings video, I try to temper the bass down a little bit. So when you run true playing, right, the first thing I'm going to show you is the Android quick tune, right? In this green chart here, you will notice what Android does, right? What the Android quick tune does, it reduces the bass and the mid range but it heightens the treble. So the, the bass below 40 hertz is actually not touched much at all. So TruePlay did what I would have done without TruePlay, right? To temper the bass down a little bit more and uh, probably to pull up the treble just so that it gets a slightly more uh, flattened response. Now the next chart in Cyan that I'm pulling up now is actually quick tune done on an iOS device. So the difference is that there is a main listening position. So the sound is going to sound a little bit more coherent because the sound from the Arc Ultra and the sub and the surround speakers are going to reach you at the main listening position at the same time, right? So you will notice that the bass below 55 hertz is actually enhanced a little bit. There is some reduction uh, between 55 hertz and 700 hertz. The mid range is actually higher than the Android quick tune. Again, the treble has also been enhanced. So in the next curve is actually the iOS full true play. This is the part where you do and wave your hands around when you have an iOS device and it is in red, right? So you'll see that the bass is actually greatly reduced below 150 hertz. Now the mid range, however, has been enhanced tremendously. Now the treble above 5 kilohertz is in line with the quick true play, but overall you'll see a very much increased output from the mid range and the treble. Now, to give you a better idea of what this does, I'm just going to erase the chart and I'll pull up the white curve, which is no true play versus full true play in red, right? So this is what the full true play does on an iOS device. The bass is reduced. The 200 hertz is like basically untouched and mid-range and treble greatly enhanced and overall this gives you a slightly flatter response and this is probably what sonos wants you to hear right because what true play does and how sonos implements it is that it tries to give you what it thinks should be correct 
based on the deficiencies of your room, right? Not all rooms are the same. In fact, all rooms are different, right? So for Quick Tune, um, which let me show up this chart here, the iOS Quick Tune, Cyan, and the Android Quick Tune in green. So this contrasts the Quick Tune between iOS devices and Android devices. So the Android devices, right, in green, it is actually quite similar around 200 hertz or so but the ios quick tune actually gives better bass and better mid-range response now finally in this last chart i'm going to be pulling up here is the ios quick tune in cyan versus the full ios uh true play in red and red you see that it reduces the bass a lot more it enhances the mids all the way from 100 plus hertz to 4.5 kilohertz so you will hear the dialogue and the vocals come across a lot stronger but you will notice that there is actually more subdued treble from 5 kilohertz onwards now the real question then is which is better which version of true play is actually better it's hard to call that, right? But um, I'll just run through them as I see it, right? Very objectively. Now, Quick True Play has a lot less variables. Why do I say that? Because you don't have to walk around because the full True Play requires you to walk around. And every time you perform full True Play, depending on whether you are able to retrace the exact step exact speed of moving around the room and waving your arms you're gonna get slightly different results so the quick true play has less variable every time you conduct a quick true play the result will be more or less consistent even for the ios quick true play uh, as as opposed to the android quick true play they're both going to be more consistent than the full true play on ios now ios the difference is that it takes into account the listening position, even for quick true play, right? When it is done on an iPhone. So that itself, it allows all the sound to reach you at the same time. So that is actually a better form of true play than the Android true play. So, I mean, Sonos is not really upfront about this. They will just say that, well, true play, quick true play is available on Android, but there is still a slight difference because they cannot account for all the variants in the mics that are used on the thousands of android models available out there in the wild although well apparently they can do five six seven generations of ios or iphone devices and that is okay to handle by sonos so you'll notice that then how, how does the android quick to play listen out to the sounds well it uses the mic on the sonos arc device so you do have to turn on the mic on the arc ultra there's a switch there's a physical switch to enable or disable the mic you do need to turn that on you don't have to turn on the voice assistant but you do need to have the mic turn on the switch at the back needs to be pushed up right so that is probably all i have to it and objectively that's what it is but subjectively what i think is that the ios full version of the true play it actually gives me a fuller body there is less boom in the room because my room is quite small so when you have a powerful subwoofer inside and it throws out the big and the long waveforms uh, it, it, it can bounce quite a bit and because i don't have a uh, free space to deploy the subwoofers they are tucked away in the corners or under the shelf right so that actually reinforces the bass and it pushes the bass response of the room up a little bit so true play what it does is it pulls that down a little bit so there's less boom in the room i prefer the ios full true play it gives me more body and the vocals and the dialogue is great right because the mid range is actually greatly enhanced so my preference in order of preference will be iOS full true play followed by the iOS quick tune if you don't have time but you don't really have to do it a lot if you have an iOS device just go for the full true play and lastly it will be the Android quick true play so that is all I have for it and if anything quick true play full true play it actually helps enhance the listening experience you have from your setup that you bought from Sonos so 
Now it is almost Christmas. It's ending the year of 2024. When we go into 2025, there will be new products from Sonos and just know that I will be covering those products. We don't know what they're going to be coming up with next. It could be the TV. It could be the Sonos M update. Let's see what they have up their sleeves for 2025. Meanwhile, happy holidays. Enjoy your break at the end of the year and I will see you in my next video.